Hello, Lisa Warren here, day 56. It's insane. So, literally, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning and did my day 55 video. <laughs> it was a crazy day yesterday. Oh, my God. So, I'm in my room because I spent an hour outside doing another video that uh, literally took out all my outside time. So, I had to get that up and running. So, here I am. I'm just chilling out. And it's been a crazy day. Uh, I did my course. I was exhausted. I pretty much like bobbed for hours, apples most of the day. Uh, but I'm really glad. We had some sound issues, so they couldn't even hear me talk. So I'm kind of glad I didn't just record. Um, and but I'm glad I went to it because I almost just decided, you know what, I need to sleep. And tomorrow I realized Kyle starts his class, so I need to sleep. <laughs> But I did. I literally, every break we had, I just slept. I slept for four hours this afternoon. I didn't care. I'm like, I need to do this. And I felt so good. Um, I called a lady that is a part of my Twitch family. She was in the hospital for surgery. So I called her today and surprised her. And we talked for quite a bit. And it was nice. And so she was happy. Um, I, you know, I was really happy. I've, I felt like I've connected with her uh, over the last eight months. So I felt really good doing that. And so, yeah, um, and other than that, like, it's been a crazy day. Uh, it's been quiet day, just but crazy just because I was up so early. Um, and then I did this biggest manifestation. That's been huge. So a lot of the things over the last little bit that I've been asking for have been coming to, to point. And, you know, it's been amazing to watch and just all the prayers starting to get answered and just trust that, you know what? Everything that I've asked for so far has come. I have basically manifested a lot of things and some things have been negative because you got to be careful what you wish for, but I've been really grateful. And you know what? I've been grateful for the life that we've had. I've been grateful to be able to stay home with the kids. Yes, it's been stressful. And now it's the point where, you know, this is why I'm doing a lot of this is in a lot of these courses is because I am trying to basically do an overhaul change of just the way our house is. We've been living in this chaos the stress mode, the groundhog day for so long that I'm tired. Like we, we want more. We deserve more. We all deserve more. Everybody deserves more. So we're just actively working towards it and just doing what we can and just simple mindset, simple positive mindset change sometimes is all we need right now. Um, doing what we can, taking every opportunity that you can, um, and going with it. Uh, you know, success loves speeds is what they say. So Right now, I've been doing these courses and getting up early, which has been insane. A lot of people are like, I can't believe you're doing it. I'm like, I don't even know how I'm doing it, to be honest. The adrenaline rush. But I can see, I can feel it inside. But the last two weeks, I felt a lot better. My digestion's been working a lot better. My allergies, some of the things that I haven't been able to eat, um, I've been able to eat. I can't believe it. Just finding the tools, all the answers, like... Yeah, it may not just happen, but it, you know, you get signs that are like, try this, try that. And sure enough, like they're working. And I do feel like really, I do feel a lot lighter. Um, there was some energetic healing done over the last two weekends, not this weekend, but the weekend before and the weekend before that. So I do feel like that's been a huge thing. We are energetic beings. Every part of life is energy. Um, so, you know, we have to take care of our mind, body and spirit. And I know a lot of people may not believe that, and that's okay. Um, but it's taken me to this point to realize, because when you start working on things and you're like, why isn't this changing? Nobody can find anything wrong with me, and I don't understand it, and like, I can't, like, why am I feeling this way over and over and over again? And so finally we did it. And I'm, and I'm not going to say it's going to work for everybody, but for me, this is what's been a huge changer. And I do believe that those things really kick-started a huge part of me. And I was just like, I feel like a new person. And literally, since these are happening, everything's been falling into pace. My digestion's been working. I've been getting a little bit more energy. The yoga's been helping. I've been building strength. And just other parts of me are healing. And it just feels so good to finally feel like I'm on the right path again. And so that's been huge. And the other thing is, is the... Um, just my family relationship. Uh, the kids are doing well. The, um, like, I just feel like they're not as clingy. They're not needing me as much because of anxiety. They're just coming towards me because they want to give me hugs. They actually want to be near me versus they have to be near it. I was their, um, I was their go-to and their regulation 
and that's been what has been going on for years and it's okay that's just what it is but we take that on we are a family of empaths so things that just you know <laughs> one person's off we're all off and now that I'm taking the time to do this for myself I do see a huge change in them as well and they do model us and part of my changing is so that maybe they'll see it as well and start doing things they enjoy so and even with my hubby like there's been a lot of stress in the house just for everything and financial and you know just relationship because we're just so tired and I'm so sick and tired and you know there's just not a lot of energy and I have been putting it towards the kids because they've needed it it's not because you know I don't want to give them energy either it's just I know that if I don't do that with the kids it's just gonna make tomorrow harder and you just learn these things and I feel bad and he deserves attention too and you know, um, but you know, we all, but he's also living in survival as well. He's living with his own past and his own issues that he has to deal with and his own mental health. So we've all been just kind of living and surviving and it's just not a life. It's not a life at all. So I don't know. I think, um, the last few weeks have been really just amazing transformations just overall. And Prayers are starting to get answered and things are finally starting to go into alignment and I am so excited for our future and I feel like we're finally on the right path to getting there and just even with this weekend like passion for profit like it was just showing us different business it was a business class and it was full business design. it wasn't even woo woo stuff it was full on business and it was exhausting because when I learned I crashed and this time I actually felt it like it was a lot of information and but it was awesome information and you know it's just being realistic with what can matter like I want to I play the heart because I felt the need to help others with it the problem is is that uh, even though I want to make money from it I also have this thing where not everybody's going to be able to afford it and those are the people that really need it and I've been there I've been that and you know when you're so low in life um you you don't have the wealth because you can't work you don't have the ability to do things you enjoy and that just adds to the feeling low and the depression and so I want to help people feel better and I know for me it helped me is it going to help everybody probably not but at least I want to try to help whoever wants it I'm not going to force myself on others obviously um, but I also love wedding planning and over the last little bit I booked a bride like a week ago as soon as I finished that like that day I'm like oh my god and you know I did up my prices I'm not gonna lie after five years I finally upped my prices and you know feeling confident that I like I'm allowed to make money at this I'm allowed to charge and I'm allowed to give discounts when I feel like the bride deserves it and needs it I know what that's like and that's the reason why I did price myself so low it wasn't because I you know I'm lowballing everybody it's just I also know that not everybody can afford it and people need a wedding planner like people deserve to have somebody there and you know I can be the judge of you know I do quest constant quotes for that and but I also have to value my time as well and there are people that will will pay the price but I also don't want to forget those that also need the help um because they really do I was that bride I was that budget bride because we needed it we didn't have the money to really to get married but we did it anyway and you know we had a wedding planner and that was probably the first thing because I knew I wouldn't be able to do anything I didn't want to do it all um, but we were being able to be selective with what we needed her for and that's just part of it like so I don't want to be like yeah I don't you know I don't want those brides uh, but to be honest the people that are in the lack of finances because I've been there I do sympathize with them and as much as I, I, I want to be able to move past that because clearly we need to survive as well. And but I also don't want to forget about them. So it's just finding the right balance. And uh, I just I'm looking forward to the future. I have a lot of ideas. So now it's just acting on them. But I finally feel like I have the energy to do it. So it's all in balance. And I'm super excited. So that's that's my rant. There's so much. I mean, my parents are here. They're homeless. So technically, like. I mean, they're not homeless. They have a home. We have, they have, they're living with us, but they're only living with us because they don't have a home to live in. And so even though they aren't homeless, they're technically not homeless. Um, they would like to be back on their own. And we're not in a house that can accommodate all of us well. 
Um, my son would like his own room. Um, yeah, is it in our cards? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to say yes, it will be. Um, but right now, this is our situation. He's been living in the basement for a year and a half. Oh, actually, yeah, it's been a year now. And, you know, he's a teenager and he doesn't want to share it with his brother. And, like, sometimes, like, you know what? It is what it is. Sorry. Sometimes you just got to do it because you're not the only one that has to share with a brother. So he's decided to live in the basement. Well, you know, you're, he doesn't have his own space and he's the kid that really does need it. Um, Colin could care less. It's a bedroom. You just stay in it. But he is getting to the point where he does need a place to go and he doesn't have that because uh, he's in basically living in a place that is public. It's the, it's our family room. It's the basement. It's where we watch TV, where Colin spends all his day. And then he's upstairs and the upstairs where the computer is, where he is at, is off the kitchen it's in an open area it's our living room as well like it's just the main area of the house so he's never really having that time to himself and you know it's part of growing up and it's part of needing that um to be by and to know who he is he needs to start doing and he wants to so that's good so yeah but things are going really well uh relationship wise with kids hubby uh starting to get back on track and just feeling good and healthy again um, feeling physically well. Um, I know there's ways to go, but I don't know how much ways to go. Um, there obviously there's improvement. I need to energetically be more energy. I definitely have low G. <laughs> so, but it's raising and that's the exciting part. And I feel like we're finally on the right track. So it's been exciting. And yes, this has been basically my rant. I had three minutes to talk about this and I spent an hour trying to figure out how to get it down to three minutes. This was 11 minutes and 50 minutes. So 12 minute rant. Um, but, uh, it's been exciting. So thank you guys so much. Seriously. Um, this whole journey, it's still going and I'm so excited to see where it goes. And this has really helped me. Um, it just gets everything out of the day. It keeps me accountable. Um, I still manage to get the video out for 8 a.m. I have to go and make, I have to go figure out what video I have for tomorrow for the music. Uh, I was hoping to do a different video, but it just, the time ran away. I, I have a lot of videos in the works anyway, so it's just a matter of putting it together. So yes, so thank you guys. Love you guys. I'm gonna head out. Really, that was my day. That's all I did. Tomorrow I have a call at seven. I have a call at 10. And then Kyle has his, starts his high school tomorrow, so I have to make sure he's ready for nine. So yeah, it's gonna be a crazy, crazy busy day. Uh, so I'm excited. So thank you guys. We will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I hope you had a good weekend. <laughs>